you know, art workshops take different forms and not all of them offer the same kind of learning or focus. And uh, that's kind of what I turned the video camera on to talk about. I'm just unpacking from a workshop in Victoria, BC. Uh, I got to travel down to Vancouver Island and teach watercolor to um, 18 artists in uh, just north of Van Victoria, actually, in North Saanich or Sydney. How privileged I felt to be able to be somewhere so beautiful, painting and uh, being inspired by the landscape, by the, the beautiful Pacific Ocean, the views that we had uh, just all around us, the greening vegetation as spring advanced, and uh, it just really was a magical time. One of the reasons that the workshop was, I think, so special was that I had um, most of the time when I teach an in-person workshop, I tend to go travel. I have a day maybe to prepare and then we go straight into the workshop in that whatever new place I'm in. And for this particular workshop, I actually had three days uh, in Victoria with my mom and my sister uh, playing tourist before the workshop started. And uh, I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to relax uh, with my family knowing that I had to go to work in just a few days, but it really didn't work that way. We had a marvelous time, so many laughs. Um, we just all, uh, we used to live on the ocean, so we were just craving some time on the beach, even though it wasn't warm out. And uh, so, you know, the, all of those dynamics and the conversations we had and just that ch chance to relax with some of the people who know me best, uh, it really brought some kind of powerful kind of groundedness, I think, to my ability to teach. Uh, the weekend following the, uh, you know, mom and mom and Allison jumped on a plane, they headed back home and I launched into my workshop. And I think I was able to bring a real uh, strength actually uh, to the workshop having come from a time of self care. And so uh, it was a good, good insight, a good thing to realize is uh, that, you know, that that rest that leads into something that is an intensive time of learning can be so beneficial. And uh, that's really important to me because when I'm teaching an in-person workshop, I don't want to, I, I want you to get the best that you can out of the workshop. I want you to receive um, everything I'm able to give, uh, hopefully not to overwhelm you, uh, and, and just to take an intensive time of learning. For most of us, an in-person workshop is one of the rare occasions in which we have the dedicated time to paint all day. And that can actually be really exhausting. It can also feel like a lot of pressure because we have just a short time period uh, in which to you know, connect together um, for you to hear from me and, and learn uh, what I have to share about my journey and how it might apply to your own process of developing your inner artist. And so I, I really want to bring uh, the best uh, of myself to a workshop. Uh, and I'm thinking about that because I have further workshops coming up. I'm still uh, taking registration for my uh, week of watercolor painting in, on Madeline Island in Wisconsin. Uh, and that particular workshop, uh, well, it is the soonest, uh, soonest I'll be teaching, July 17th to 21st of this year, 2023. And um, that workshop is really dear to my heart because it really felt like a self-care art retreat uh, when I taught there last year. And uh, there's a beautiful studio space, the opportunity to paint on location and then develop uh, artistically in the studio, uh, as well as, you know, right on site, uh, overlooking Lake Superior. Madeline Island is not an easy place to get to because it is a little off the beaten path. And perhaps that's one of the reasons I love that place so much is uh, there is a sense in which it felt a lot like home. The vegetation actually is quite similar to Northern British Columbia. Uh, there are a few things that grow there that don't grow here. And we I, I got to see monarch butterflies, which we don't they don't come this far north. Uh, so that was really special. And um, and I. I think the slower pace of a less populated uh, region is uh, something I really prize highly as well. And so that feeling of, you know, really being at home and yet I was also being able to be away from home and um, just have that quiet space to to paint, uh, to rest, 
and uh, just to enjoy the beauty of that location without the hubbub of, of big crowds. Uh, everyone who stays on Madeline Island in the summer is on vacation. There's a very relaxed feel, um, but it's it's dense and or loosely populated enough that the forest is still fairly dense. You've got uh, a lot of kind of just that feeling of solitude and it was really special to be there. Uh, that So that workshop is still taking registration. I, I tend to think about that particular workshop and that setup as an art retreat. Uh, you know, art workshops take different forms and not all of them offer the same kind of learning or focus. And uh, that's kind of what I turned the video camera on to talk about. It's taking me a few minutes to get there, but uh, if you come to one of my workshops, you'll be having to listen to me talk for a lot longer than this. So I'm just going to keep going. Um, in so, so I, I think about workshops as having different focuses. Uh, we have the travel and adventure workshops where I'm teaching uh, in a beautiful location. I taught in Italy uh, in 2021. And um, that one, we were boots on the ground uh, or vacation shoes on the ground with our plein air kits. And we would set up and paint wherever we happened to find a space uh, at a cafe, um, overlooking Lake Como, overlooking the Mediterranean, uh, just really savoring the travel experience. And um, so then the focus was not so much on watercolor techniques, uh, but just using our watercolor to more deeply experience a new location together. And I see that, I foresee that happening in my workshop in Cornwall uh, this this fall in September. Uh, that one still has a few spaces open as well. And um, with, that with that location, we will actually be staying in one place throughout the workshop. So there will be um, space for painting indoors and uh, me being able to kind of teach more vocally. I'm probably not gonna lecture if we're doing a plein air on location. Um, and are kind of spread out across a physical space. Um, but uh, I do get to have the opportunity to look over people's shoulders and talk about what I'm learning um, in a more informal way. And uh, so when I teach, so, so those are wonderful opportunities and the memories and the relationships that are built there, uh, I think are hugely beneficial to artists. And I do not want to be dismissive of plein air painting uh, just because I don't get to teach in a lecture format when we're doing a, an adventure travel workshop. Uh, it's still, uh, there's still so much learning that happens and, uh, and so much of that interaction and connection where we're talking through um, the vulnerability of painting in person um, on in location in a in a new and unfamiliar place. It's kind of uh, kind of a crazy crazy adventure, and uh, so there's a lot that goes into into the learning there. But it's a different pace than it is when I'm teaching something where I'm able to bring in studio time. Uh, this uh, workshop in Victoria was just three days long, and um, I don't feel like. Uh, that means my students received less in terms of instruction than they would in a full week of workshop. But the pacing of the content is so much faster <laughs> that I think that it can be really, really overwhelming. And I, I encourage my students, you know, if you've only got three days, it's going to feel like you're receiving a lot. And you have to trust that when you head home, uh, you're going to be continuing to uh, absorb and distill the information and learn how to apply it to your own practice. And I have to trust that that's happening as well. Uh, there's a little bit more urgency, I think, that goes into a three-day workshop uh, because of that compressed time frame. Uh, with my Madeline Island School of the Arts workshops, uh, I have the Madeline Island uh their, their home campus uh, in Wisconsin is hosting me in July. And then I'll be teaching uh, in Santa Fe with Steve Putrick in April of 2024. And that workshop uh, is a combination of plein air and studio painting in beautiful Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, and these two workshops do um, provide us with a, a studio space for, for our artists and for us to teach and lecture. And... Um, Again, just the uh, amount of time I think that you have when you take a week, Monday to Friday, and uh, paint together, uh, you pace yourself a little bit more, you apply a little bit more during the workshop than you're able to in a shorter time period. And, uh, and 
of course, uh, the fact that we're staying on campus together means that we have meal times to talk, uh, really get to know each other. I love hearing from my students, and I think one of my biggest roles as an artist when I come to a workshop is really just that of listener. I want to hear your story, uh, where you're coming from, what you're going through, um, how what I've shared maybe in the past or during the workshop is resonating for you. That helps me to be a better teacher. Uh, and it helps us make those really authentic connections that I think something comes alive. Uh, and it's really interesting because I was just taking a, listening to a podcast and uh, I don't remember the title. Um, I can't even probably verbalize it very well, but it was talking about how something happens to our brains when we connect in person, when there's um, actually the energy in the room and the eye contact and all of those things, they, they do more than, I mean, we've often talked about how Zoom is limited. And, uh, and we all know it and we not, can't necessarily articulate why, but uh, we know that there's something special that happens when we meet in person. And um, sometimes I feel like in these workshops, I'm not coming to necessarily even teach something new, but by hearing it in person, by you being able to engage with it and ask questions um, per, and actually um, contribute your own insights because I really received so many rich insights from my students um, just last week in Victoria. Um, book recommendations. Uh, we had about 45 minutes where we just sat and told our story where, um, where watercolor had kind of uh, brought us. And uh, I think it was a really valuable time. It just felt really rich in uh, that sense of community. And uh, to see those email addresses exchanged as people head home and, um, you know, some who live in, in close, close proximity and are able to plan to get together to paint again. Those are things that just warm my heart uh, and really help me feel like, you know, this in-person teaching is kind of the backbone of everything I do online. And that means that even, yeah, there, it's the backbone of what I what I teach online because as much as I want to be real and authentic and, and get personal with you here on video, uh, it happens best when we're in the same room together. And I can't reach as many people when we meet in person. You know, I it would be very easy to be dismissive of the fact that when we get together in person, I'm only speaking to 15 people or 20 people. Um, but when... Uh, and, and so, you know, I can teach a Zoom workshop and reach 100, but it's, it doesn't matter. You know, we need, uh, I, I need to see your faces. I need to hear from you. That makes what I'm able to share online richer um, and more real. And, uh, you know, I really draw from, from that workshop content um, and that sense of community. It, it keeps, it keeps me uh, with a finger on, you know, where we need to go next um, enriches what I'm teaching. And uh, I know it, it serves you well as well. So uh, those are just a few thoughts about art and workshops and why I teach in person uh, and why I haven't even gone into why it would be worth it for you to invest in uh, an in-person workshop with an artist who you feel like you're ready to learn from. Um, it's it's a lot of money often. Uh, it takes logistics. Uh, Madeline Island, I said, it's not super easy to get to. For me, it's three flights. It's going to take all day. Uh, I, I'm looking at one flight schedule and it looks like I might even be traveling overnight. Uh, so it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's... Uh, it's the getting there, you know, it's, it's being together, being on site, um, taking in that, getting away from all of this, <laughs> which often, uh, you know, it's hard to balance art and work. And, and so uh, to have that space and to, to give that little voice of confidence as well to your art practice and say, I believe in what I do. Um, I believe that what I do as an artist, uh, as I try to learn to paint is good for me. I believe it's valuable for who I am as a person. I believe I'm valuable as a person and can um, make a choice to honor what I'm doing uh, as a painter and invest in it uh, when I'm able. And I think uh, when you're ready to say that, it elevates your work, uh, it takes you in new directions uh, that are really exciting for me as an instructor and really honoring and uplifting for you as an artist. They expand your practice, and I believe in that. So uh, that's a little 
conversation about art workshops and uh I hope it's beneficial for you if you've had questions about uh, I've been getting a lot of emails with questions about my different workshops and what what to expect and what the workshops might provide for you as an artist. I want to hear your questions. It's really important to me that you if you're going to invest in travel, if you're going to invest those dollars uh, that you have are prepared uh, for what you're going to see on the other side and for what and ready to receive it. Um, you know, it's it's my worst nightmare to sh to. <laughs> My worst nightmare, um, that might be an exaggeration, but it's it's not something I, I relish is to see an artist show up there who who doesn't didn't realize that this was what they were putting themselves in for. Um, they you know, you're not ready. Uh, you ex you were looking for something different. Um, you you know, it's it's uh, I would much rather answer a question or two um, direct you to uh, the learning that will be right for you or clarify uh, what you might expect in a workshop. And uh, so, so do send me an email if you have any questions at all about the workshops that are coming up. If you've been semi-seriously thinking about attending, uh, I'd sure like to help you make sure that it's the right choice for you. So uh, do take a look in the, uh, just down below the video, there's always space for description. I don't even know where I'm posting this yet, um, but uh, take a look down there. There will be links for you to grab to find more information or to contact me with your questions. So you can take care of uh, of that. And uh, I do hope to see you in person and build those relationships. Uh, I love my watercolor artists. I think we're just a community of some of the best people in the world. Uh, and the communities that are formed when watercolor artists, especially heartlet artists get together, um, powerful, beautiful. Um, they make the world a better place.